Hello, Banjax Dulali here. This is actually take two of this video. And I wanted to talk more on Belphegor and my work with Belphegor. As stated previously, uh, Belphegor will come to the uh, practitioner in a form that is most pleasing to them, usually most sexually pleasing. In which case, uh, as Again, as stated, if you watch my previous video on Belphegor, that uh, Belphegor appears to me as a very voluptuous demoness. Um, you will find a painting I did of the appearance of Belphegor in that video. And this update consists mainly of saying, so far it has been a successful working. I have created, for instance, a sigil plate here, wood burned. Let's see if you can, there we go. Wood burned, stained, and it is anointed with oils as offering. Uh, sometimes it is a type of prosperity oil that I have of my own making here. And sometimes it is what's called live oil. Now live oil is sort of an alchemical uh, process, but it, it comes from the Ormus community. It's basically a mineral rich salt that I've been steeping in oil for the last, uh, for a few weeks. Uh, and in my working with Belphegor, I have noticed some significant, uh, changes. Because Belphegor being someone who can bestow information, not information necessarily, sorry, I misspoke, uh, inspiration is what I meant to say, someone who can uh, provide inspiration to the practitioner, as well as revenue, money, which is perfect for someone like me who creates for money. <laughs> now, in the workings with Belphegor, I find myself, after leaving an offering, either the oils or a particular tobacco, which I found that Belphegor really enjoys, uh, side drive. but to be specific, it's won by the Six Photo Snuff Company from India called Krishan Sudama. Uh, Belphegor seems to very much like that particular one. Uh, so whether it's that, the oils that I've created, or uh, alcohol, beer, I find that I'm usually struck with some form of inspiration. Or I am, or if I'm contemplating we're just simply thinking about Belphegor for a prolonged period of time. Inspirational strike. Uh, I still, I, my belief that Belphegor is a very hedonistic entity has been cemented the longer I work with, with him or her. Because it's, it's hard to explain. But Belphegor is very much a being of pleasure. So, in whatever form it takes, especially for the practitioner. And, frankly, Belfour is a delight to work with. If you... How do I put this? If you work with Belphegor, you're probably going to start finding much more a deeper gratification 
and most of the things that you find very enjoyable overall. You will enjoy things you enjoy more. <laughs> as well as financially and with the inspiration, Gulfagor is able to actually provide more of a slow burn. Something that gradually grows and grows the more time goes on. Providing more inspiration, more revenue, just more. Which is very much in essence with Belfagor's hedonistic nature. The more you get, the more you want, the more you get. Because frankly, more is never enough. So yes, Belfagor workings have been a success and I will continue to work with Belfagor for the foreseeable future. I haven't decided whether or not to start seriously talking with Belfagor about a formal pact as a patron or anything like that, though it does seem to be something that's on the horizon at some point. Maybe, maybe not. And uh, frankly, that's it for right now. Now, one last thing. Uh, since this has been about prosperity in Belfagor, you can find uh, the works that Belfagor has helped me create that has helped inspire. By going to Etsy, clicking up Paul and Call, you'll find a script. You'll find a uh, a link in the description to my shop. Please feel free to have a browse and buy something if so inspired. I also do uh, commission work. If you see something, sim if you want something similar to what I've put up, but you don't see what you want exactly, feel free to let me know. <laughs> and that will be it for now. Have a good day and. Until next time.